Greetings fellow makers, welcome down to the shop, welcome to Prop 3D, your guide to 3D printing for prop and costume making. I'm Bill and today we're putting more parts on the Boolean Gemini Scout Rifle. I've actually completed the entire 3D model for this. I sat down and marathoned some 3D modeling to get the whole thing done and I'm printing the rest of the pieces right now. This is what I have for now. I'm guessing that I put maybe like 20 or 30 hours into 3D modeling this piece. And that was all spread out through maybe three or four days of work. I'd like to point out that for some of the connections on these parts, I simply overlapped a couple of pieces and used Boolean operations to cut them out. This way one piece would fit exactly into the other piece. Now, you may be saying, Bill, you need to add some sort of tolerance so there's a little bit of room for those two 3D prints to squeeze into one another. I will say that a lot of these parts fit together no problem, even though the Boolean was one-to-one -one with no tolerance added. Also, I'm going to be sanding every single one of these parts, and any of the pieces that I found were a little too snug, I just sanded them a little bit, and then they fit together no problem. Now, the major part that I finished since the last video is the rear stock portion. Like everything on this gun, these parts were printed in the Gray Matter Hackers Pro PLA. This large part took a good 12 hours to print. Now you guys know I'm a big fan of using support material to make sure all of my parts come out with very few issues. And I'll say it again, I love preparing my prints in Simplify 3D because it makes really great support material that's easy to remove. I printed the stock in three parts and then used the top part as a key to lock the two lower parts together. Again, these parts fit together like a glove with no adjustment to the tolerances between the parts. All I have to do now is get them all sanded up and glued together. I also printed out the front scope assembly and the rails for the scopes. I actually modeled this rail to the same dimensions as a Picatinny rail. That's the same standard rail used on many real guns. This way, if I wanted to, I could totally buy an off-the-shelf scope and put it on my gun. Again, these parts were extremely snug when fit together, but a little sanding cleared that right up. The scope was modeled in four pieces. I figured this was the best way to get all the parts to print as nicely as possible. Once printed, I separated the parts from the raft and support material and cleaned them up a little bit. The pegs were actually put into my power drill and then I spun them against a file and then some sandpaper to tidy them up. I also had to drill out the holes a little bit and I quickly learned that I should have held the piece in place with something other than my hands because twist drills will bite into PLA like nobody's business and send that part spinning. Once prepared, I was able to put all of the pieces together very nicely and then I had my front scope ready to go. And that's what we have so far. Some of those pieces aren't here right now, I got a box piling up and I have more pieces printing in the other room as we speak. There's just this larger upper receiver area that got cut into three large pieces. Each of those prints is taking longer than about 12 to 20 hours a piece. So those will take a few more days to get printed out. But by the next video, they should be ready to show off. I gotta tell you guys, I am over the moon with how this thing is turning out. It is so cool. It's just the right size. It looks good. It looks just like the model, of course and I just have a couple more parts to go. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the trip that we've been going on, and I'm really looking forward to getting some paint on this thing. Hey, thanks again so much for checking out our videos and following along on the build. If you haven't checked it out already, there are five other videos in this series, so if you wanna go back and see how we got to where we are now. We also have a bunch more 3D printing videos and more general prop and costume making videos, including a whole series on Skyrim armor that we're doing with our friends over at Bethesda. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button, go check out some of those older videos. If you are at home working on your own cool 3D printed prop and costume making projects, well, I want to hear about it. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, I want to get back to this project. You guys have some stuff to work on. I have some stuff to work on. I'm going to get to it and I'll see you guys in the next video.